Listen, pal, I'm not Charlene, so stop calling. Here's today's consumer tip. If you're gonna buy a cell phone off the back of a van, make sure that the previous owner wasn't a telepsychic. Here's an idea. Change the number. And have to pay for the calls? I don't think so. Hello? Will you get a life and stop bothering me? Now, there is no reason to be nasty to these people. Actually, that was my mother. Oh, Nanook, I hear the salmon are running. <laughs> Bless you. I've got the chills, the sweats, and the blinding headache. Other than that, I feel like crap. So go home. You don't want to infect the whole office. Oh, come on, Jack. He's not sick. It's all in his head. Doc! And now some of it's on my bagel. <laughs> go home, Louise. Looking back on it, it was just a day, like any other. Maybe that's what was so weird about it, that it didn't seem weird at all. The only difference was that Todd had the day off, so no one had sucked the custard out of all the eclairs. Why, yes, Eric. Charlene does see love in your future. Shh, this guy's got a sexy voice and he's rich. I see a redhead. Her name begins with the letter V. Uh-huh. You'll meet her today at lunch. There's a restaurant you often go to? That's right. The Sage House. Uh-huh. She'll ask you to pass the salt and that's when you'll know she's the one. <laughs> Oh, no, Eric. Charlene thanks you. <laughs> Bye. I know I'm going to hell. I've got a handbasket all picked out. <laughs> if you're looking for loose change, I already took it. No, I am looking for the Neil Young tickets that Todd said he would leave for me. I called his apartment, but his machine's still broken. Oh, oh, tickets. Um, they're in your top left drawer, next to that chocolate bar wrapper, the one you were probably saving. Oh, man. This is his fat boy Slim ticket, which means he probably took my Neil Young ticket accidentally. That flake. It's a good thing I talked him into getting a pager. Good to know I can find his desk. <laughs> I'd forgotten Todd had the day off, which was fine because I was gonna have to blow him off for lunch anyway. Of course, Todd would only eat with me if I paid, which I would because God help me, I am generous to a fault. But I gotta say, it was always the best 329 I ever spent. Excuse me, could you please pass the salt? Do you have any idea what salt does to your blood pressure? Not to mention the water retention. My aunt had ankles like trees, and it was the weakness of All soil. right! It's definitely not you. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I was looking for salt. Oh, my God. What did you say? I want salt. Does, uh, <clears throat> does your name begin with a V? Why, yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> it's Vicky. Are you psychic or something? Welcome to our juice bar. May I help you? Um, I'm looking for a friend of mine who's a regular here. His name is Todd Stites. Who's looking for my Todd? You know him? Oh, yes. Every time he comes in here, he buys me a shot of wheatgrass and pulls up my knee highs. He's the only man who's been below my navel since the Korean War. <laughs> I had no idea Todd had such a flair for hosiery. Oh, he doesn't have a flair for it. It's just a rut we've fallen into. You know how couples get. <laughs> sure. Listen, when you do see him, could you please tell him that he accidentally took the wrong concert tickets? He can call me on my cell phone. You know what's to... nice about Todd? Unlike some young people, he always has time for older folks. He's not so caught up in his own life. Yeah, he's a really caring guy. About the tickets. So he I'll also get... knows how to take a hint. How about a shot of wheatgrass? I'm parched. Oh, okay, uh, sorry. Uh, one shot of wheatgrass juice, please. And looky there, someone's knee eyes are drooping. <laughs> so, Eric, if everyone in the import export business is as handsome as you, I want to hear all about it. Uh, uh well, there's, there's really not much to it. Uh, it's pretty simple. You just you bring in some things and you, you ship out others. 
Really? So things going in and out and in and out. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Would you excuse me? I have to go to the bathroom. <clears throat> Charlene, it's Eric. Listen, I I'm out with that woman, and she's nothing like I thought she'd be. Even better, huh? No, I mean, her breasts are hanging out. She wears way too much perfume, and she is practically throwing herself at me. <laughs> now, Eric, I'm sure you're just exaggerating. <laughs> I think she might be a whore. <laughs> now, uh, listen to Charlene, Eric. You have just misjudged this poor woman. I'm sure that she's not at all like what you say. She's probably just a little bit nervous. <laughs> now, go on right back to her, and you'll see I'm right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, Eric, I am so upset. Well, what's the matter? Well... After you left, I glanced down and imagined my horror when I realized that some of my bosom was exposed. Well, you must think terribly of me. No, I, I didn't even notice. Oh, that's just because you're such a gentleman. <laughs> Would you mind if we said grace? You say grace before the entree, but not before the salad? Ruffage doesn't count. Not in his eyes. Here's my expense report. Thank you. Uh, how's Louise? How would I know? <laughs> you haven't called to check on her? Jack, um, nurturing isn't exactly my strong suit. Yes, uh, but it's not like I'm asking you to breastfeed him. <laughs> but a bowl of chicken soup would be oh so nice. Okay. Who around here delivers? Oh. I think it would be a lot more therapeutic if it were to be delivered by an attractive co-worker who follows it up with a kiss on the forehead. Jack, if you want to spend some quality time with Louise, just go. Maddie. All right, I'll do it. But add the soup to my expense report and the mileage. You always end up wondering about the what ifs. If I hadn't have given Todd the day off, he would have been at the gate working. Well, he would have been at the gate. Probably sliding around the office in his socks, yelling, look at me, I'm sliding in my socks. It was funny when he said it. Excuse me, I'm looking for a guy who hangs out here. His name's Todd Stites. You know Todd the God? I told you he'd have a hot babe. Uh, no, 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 I'm not his hot babe. Don't sell yourself short. You're a hottie. Great. Now I know where construction workers come from. So, has he been here? Yeah, he was here. How do you think we got all these free games? He runs them up and then takes off and leaves them for us. That's why we call him Todd the God. I call him Todd the Bod. Shut up, Richie. Hey, in health class, they said it was normal. So did he say where he was going? Yeah, same place he goes every Thursday. Some barber shop on Lawton. He gets his haircut every Thursday? Oh, well, I guess that explains the short hair. Uh, you're lucky you have your looks. <laughs> so, you boys are all virgins, right? Yeah. Get used to it. He was always, always talking me into things. Um, uh, starting a microbrewery in my bathtub, consolidating all of our savings into a, a $10,000 bill to show to chicks in bars. And then there's this haircut. When I first saw what this looked like, I was really mad at him. And I'm thinking I might just keep it like this for a while. Luis! Yeah, down here. What are you doing on the floor? Well, at first I thought that it might be cooler. And then I, I couldn't get up. All right, here we go. Come on. You had anything to eat? Uh, I had some Dayquil and then some NyQuil. 
and now I seem to have lost all sense of time. Well, it's three o'clock. Look, I brought you some soup. It needs to be warmed up. Feel better. I'll see you later. You're leaving? Yeah. Got a lot of work to do. Yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll crawl into the kitchen and warm up my soup. Maybe I'll just stay right here and drink it cold. <laughs> oh, look, a news week. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am, we don't do ladies. Too much work. And you're never happy the way it looks. I'm looking for Todd Stites. Do you know? Oh, yes, I do. And you just missed him. Of course I did. Well... When I finally catch up to him, I'm gonna smack him on that pointy head of his. <laughs> it is pointy now, isn't it? Makes it hard to cut around. <laughs> well, thanks anyway. Oh, wait a minute. Are you Susan? Yes. H how'd you know? Todd talks about you all the time. He says he hopes to find a girl with your kind of heart, but not quite so good looking, because good looking women are just too much trouble. <laughs> Well, then maybe before I smack that pointy head, I'll kiss it. <laughs> well, thanks. He, does he really come here to get his hair cut every week? No, he comes here for guitar lessons. You mean you're the one that taught him? No, he teaches me. <laughs> you think you know somebody, and then... Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is what he showed me today. No, uh, but he explains it very well. I went back to the office. I had work to do. I figured sooner or later Todd would call in. But he didn't. I still wasn't concerned, though. I, I mean, why should I be? Accidents happen to other people, right? Todd used to drive me nuts. When I first came to the gate, he tried to pin nicknames on me. There was Mad Dog, the Madinator. Oh, and who could forget, Madalada Ding Dong. Actually, I kind of like that one. But of course, never told him. Well, now I wish I had. <laughs> do you have to do that? I'm uh, trying to write an article. Yeah, and I'm trying to breathe. Well, could you do it in a less revolting way, sweetheart? I'm sorry, I'll, I'll breathe through my mouth. Thanks. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh, good, that's much better. Are you mad at me because I'm sick? No, I'm mad at you because you're noisy. The sick part is just irritating. Oh, so when you get sick, it's a quietly delightful, mucus-free experience. I don't get sick. I don't allow myself. It's just willpower. So what you're saying is, is it's my fault that I'm sick? Well, it certainly isn't mine. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, and here, here I, I thought there was a little thing called germs. Yeah, but I guess that doesn't matter to you because, well, you're invincible. So it would have absolutely no effect on you if, if I did this, huh? Achoo! Achoo! Yeah, Achoo. Achoo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this, stop huh? it! This, huh? Stop it! Well, well, why is my being sick so hard for you? It's not hard for me. Yes, it is. You, you make me feel like I'm, I'm betraying you by being ill. I just don't like taking care of people. Why? I just don't. That, that's not good enough. It scares me, okay? I spent my whole childhood taking care of an alcoholic mother, and this is just bringing all that stuff up again. Okay, Maddie, I wish you to listen to me. This is just a head cold. Unless, God forbid, it's gone into my chest. <laughs> oh, look, I, I, I will get better, and, and I, I hope you can come to know that sickness is not a weakness, and I'm your boyfriend, I'm not your mother. I'll try. I'll do my best. Yeah, fair enough. <coughs> oh, crap! <laughs> this is going to be such a growing experience for you. Sweetheart, relax. 
The worst that happens is that we don't get to Neil Young and we stay here and see this slim fast boy. <laughs> it's fat boy slim. And no, I don't want to see him. I want to see Neil Young, which means I want to see Todd because Todd has our tickets. Either the kids today aren't eating enough or fashion is completely passing me by. <laughs> oh, hey, check it out. It's Daisy Fuentes and, and Granny from the Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> so delicious. Mm. <laughs> How'd you know I like Chateaubriand? Oh, well, um, actually, I have to confess, I had a little help. Mm -hmm. um, this is gonna sound crazy, but I called a telepsychic, and she told me I was gonna find you. Really? You know, it should be very good. It, Pass the sour cream. You know, in fact, since we owe this whole thing to her, I think we should thank her. Well, maybe sometime we owe. What are you doing? I just want to thank her, you know, for us. But, um, you know... Oh. You gonna get that? No. I, I've been getting tons of wrong numbers lately. Maybe it's important. No. Nah. Huh? I, I guess Charlene isn't there. <laughs> Look at that. Everyone is just hanging up. <laughs> Maybe I dialed it wrong. No. Uh, your meat's gonna get cold. Ah, uh, that's... <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that is. That is funny. <laughs> okay. I really think you should answer this time. Hi, y'all. That's Todd's favorite song. He would not miss that song. Do you want me to phone his apartment again? No, we've tried calling four times. I left a note on his door. He's got my cell phone number. I don't know what else to do. Oh, I'm starting to get worried now. Me too. Well, I just had the worst day of my life. And why wasn't I invited to this party? It's not a party. Todd's missing. Missing? What do you mean? He never showed up at the concert and no one's seen him in hours. Who's probably just locked himself in his bathroom again? Or got lost at the mall? I mean, it's Todd. <laughs> Doesn't he like to go to the parking lot at the airport and watch the planes take off? He only does it on dates. <laughs> I was really looking forward to Fat Boy Slim. I mean, this is strange. Thank you. Okay, I was just talking to a friend of mine at the police department. The police? It's just a precaution. If he hears anything, he'll call us. As you get older, you expect certain things to happen. I mean, that's just life. But there are some things you're never prepared for. He's okay, right? I mean, Todd's always okay. Yeah, of course. Of course he is. Isn't there anything that we can do besides sitting around here and waiting? Okay. Let's all... Get in a circle and, and hold hands. Come on. Let's send out some positive energy. Come on. I guess it can't hurt. Actually, it might. I think I'm contagious. That's okay, Maddie. I think we're all willing to take the risk. All right. Now, everybody, close your eyes and think good thoughts. We've come along. I have to celebrate you, baby. I have to praise you like a That's Todd's favorite song. The one at the concert, right? Yeah, he's been singing it all week. <laughs> that is so perfect. <laughs> well, we'll have to tell him when he gets here. Oh, yeah. He'd like that. <laughs> yeah, he will. It's the things that you had a chance to say every day and didn't that you end up regretting. But ultimately, it's the things that he did every day that you end up remembering. Are you ready? I am called Todd.
I'm on your legacy. The early years. They're not just for women anymore. <laughs> He has to go drain El Jefe. Hey, I've had sex. <laughs> Wait a while, he hears about this. Uh-huh.